All right, let's talk about gridding your picture. If you choose to grid your picture online, there's a website and a tutorial on Polaris already for you to follow along with. If you choose to grid your picture on paper, you'll have uh, your picture submitted to Mrs. Andy's if you are an in-class person. Uh, and she will print them for you in class. If you are an at-home learner and you want to print yours, there is a tutorial on how to crop your picture online and then you can print it at home so that it is close to 8 by 10 as possible. Uh, hopefully it prints out well for you. But what I did first is I went around on all four sides and if I line up my ruler here, I can show you. And on the edge of the picture, I didn't go from the edge of the paper, I went from the edge of the picture. I measured every one inch and made a little dash along the edge. So I did that on all four sides. It's crucial that if you're gridding, you mark all four sides because even me, with all my years of experience in drawing, cannot make a perfect grid without this. So you can't eyeball it to make it work. You wanna do, the, don't take the shortcuts, do it the right way. So what I did is I marked all four sides and then I'm gonna take my ruler and I'm gonna line up the dashes and I'm gonna go from the bottom here just because of my angle and my videotaping, but you can look from the top or the bottom and I'm gonna connect my dots so that they go all the way across. So again, I'm gonna line it up. I'll try to do it from this direction so you can see it a little better and go across. And you're gonna do this throughout your whole picture so that once you're done, the entire image is gridded. You have eight squares across and 10 squares down to create 80 squares on your picture overall. So continue to build this and then we'll get into the next steps on how to draw from looking at the grid.